Hi guys, I'm back today with my very last green look for hopefully a little while because you guys are probably sick to death of green looks. Except for maybe on 420 because it's 420 and I mean I don't celebrate, I don't partake, but I still feel like, you know, it's a good excuse to wear green. <laughs> Which clearly I can't get enough of. But in any case, so today I got to use the Jeffree Star Alien Palette, which is probably my favorite Jeffree Star palette. I say probably because I think it really is, actually. It's got some of the most beautiful, unique shades in it, and it performs super well. Overall, it's just a really unique palette. The packaging is interesting. My husband has said over and over that the packaging should be green. And I kind of have to agree with him, but it is funny. I, I tried to explain that Jeffree Star loves pink, and so this why that's why this makes sense. And then he made such a great suggestion. I think that if they ever do another palette like this, they should maybe think about it. He was like, there should be like a bronzer and a highlighter or a blush and a highlighter. And I was like, that's like the best idea ever. Like in the eyeballs, that would have been really cool. Like a great way to use that space. Apparently he should be on some kind of marketing team. <laughs> in any case, uh, I wanted to show you guys this look today. If you were at all interested in seeing how I got it, please keep watching. I did some swatches for you guys. I talked about it. Um, mostly I talked to myself. Kind of sorry about that, but I was on one. Uh, in any case, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe and ring the bell for future updates of your girl who constantly stays up reading and is never... Like, I never sleep because I stay up reading. Sorry. Bookworm for life. So, the very first color that I'm going to use is Pluto. And I'm going to pop it right underneath my brow for a brow highlight. Sorry, I rarely, obviously, you guys know, I rarely do my hair. And now that I have, I'm like, get out of my face. But the Beach Waver is so easy to use that I'm kind of like, I need to, I need to get less lazy and use it more. Because it literally took me like... 15 minutes to do my hair. It was like way easier than it was the first time even. Okay. I love this palette because it's so complete. Like it goes completely from complete, complete, complete. It goes from light to dark. You have a shade to highlight with. You have a shade to deepen it with. You have all the medium shades you need. I just feel like as far as palettes go, this is just oh, the perfect palette. <laughs> It really is one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time. I know you guys are probably sick to death of hearing that, but truly, I really, like, this is a palette. Okay, if I had to pick one Jeffree Star palette to keep, this would probably be it. And that's saying something because I really love the Blood Sugar palette, and I really like, okay, I really like all of his palettes, but uh, I really like the little mini breaker as well. It's just not a complete palette. To me, this is. I mean, even the Blood Sugar is a complete palette, but it's all in one shade. Now, this has some variation, so you could definitely get some different looks out of it, but it's just beautiful. The shadows in here are beautiful. The transition colors in here are beautiful. I just feel like you can't really go wrong. Oh, so I'm <laughs> I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. I'm in the shade Titan, which is right next to Pluto. It is just a really nice light transition shade, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm putting it down as a transition shade. Now, I really want to use the yellow so bad, but I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for another time because this is a green video. This is green, green, green. I need to stick with it. It's the last one. For goodness sake, we're going out green. Uh, but for now, I'm going to use Gravity, which is next to Martian soil, and it's kind of like a, a really light terracotta. And by really light, I mean extremely light. But I'm just taking it kind of the same area I had taken Titan. Because I want it to be kind of like a contrast to the greens that I'm about to use. Here. Hear me out, bro. Okay. And just working it in really, really well. These are just so easy to use. Like, I, I know that a lot of people aren't crazy about Jeffree Star, and then I know a lot of people are. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. His formulation is just so good, you can't deny it. I don't care who you are. Let's be real. His formulation is amazing. I've never had any shades that were patchy. That's not true. I take that back. I did not like Androgyny and I did not like the one that was right before that. I'm sorry. I don't have either one of them. But actually, I never got the first one because I was not a fan of the colors in it, really. Like one or two colors, but that wasn't enough for me to purchase it. And then Androgyny, I actually really liked, but I did not like the way that those shadows performed. I just did not think they were 
nearly as good as what he has now. Like, so good. Oh, and Thirsty. That's the other palette I really, really like. I love the Thirsty palette. I think that it is just gorgeous. The shades that are, like, glittery are actually okay on my lids. I haven't had any problems with it. And I normally can't use, like, shimmery shades. Well, not shimmery, but glittery particle shades because they tear up my eyes. But that those never have. So, the next one I'm going to use is Phone Home. I'm going to get a brush that's slightly not as big. Not as fluffy. You know what I'm saying. And I'm just going to pick up a bit of that. And throw it in the crease and out a little. Again, as per the norm, nothing too precise. Working it in. Oh, these are pretty. They just work so easy. I, I don't even know what to say here. You can clearly see. Okay. And doing the exact same thing to the other side while attempting to fight my mane of hair, which is also a lie. That's something I really like about the Beach Waver. I feel like it makes my hair look more voluminous than it actually is. Because it's not. Which I'm sure you guys know. Okay. <clears throat> so there we have it on both sides. And a little bit underneath. So please ignore the horse and buggy going by my house. <laughs> it's super loud. The clippity cloppities are loud. Okay. I'm going to pick up just a teensy bit more. Pop it right there. Has anybody else's outdoor allergies been, like, out of control right now? Uh, especially if you're in, like, the northern states area, I would love to know. Because I feel like I've been outside walking and I feel like my allergies have just been, like, boom shakalaka. You're going down. You're going to sneeze. Your eyes are going to water. They're going to itch. It's mostly been watering and itching. Watering and itching, but it's been terrible. So just curious out there. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use, we're actually going to go into some of the greens now. I know, shocker. It took me a hot second. I think I'm going to pick up Ghost OG. I know it doesn't seem like it's a green shade, but it's an extremely deep green shade. But I want a different brush. I'm going to do kind of a halo. I know, I know. We're probably all sick of them. But there's only so many techniques you can do. And that's okay. They're still beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna put down I'm gonna put down something else first. I'm gonna put down Flying Saucer and then I'll go into Ghost OG. Flying Saucer is like this crazy green sheet. Green shade. It's like jade. Jade green. And I'm just taking that on the outside. Ooh, pretty. Also, you guys may hear my stomach growl. I am so sorry if you do. <laughs> okay, doing the same same thing on this side. I need a clippy. I need a clippy, and I don't have one. I love the way this is diffusing into phone home. I should have remembered that. I don't know why I didn't. I just think that they play really, really well together, which is kind of surprising to me, but they do. I wish I could stop getting it at a weird interval underneath my eye when the other side is fine-ish. I'm just being dramatic. Please ignore me. Okay. I think here. We're gonna get just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes because I do want that underneath, but I want it in a more controlled manner. Oh, much better. Same thing over here. 
making the weirdest face. Whoa. Okay. And there. Okay. I need. Okay. 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 That's what I sound like, really. Actually, it looks like I still have some under here. Which would be fine, but it's not in the place that I wanted. Let's see here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Flying Saucer. And I'm just going to go really close to my lash line with it. Oop, I stuck it in my eye. We could have watering just as a heads up. <laughs> okay, same thing here. Close to the water line. Right on that lash line. Not getting too out of hand, hopefully. <laughs> Some hair here. Sorry, I'm mostly talking to myself apparently today. Good times. But in fairness, I stayed up like super late last night. I was reading fan fictions and I stayed up till like five reading. I was like, oh, you're gonna pay, and I'm paying. But I'll tell you what, I love reading. It was totally worth it. I wish I were reading right now a little bit. But I love putting on makeup too, so it's kind of win-win. Either way. All right, so I've got that on. I'm going to also, I'm like, do I want to put it in the center or in the inner eye now? Because I kind of like the way it is. All right, I like the way it is. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of Ghost OG. And I want a more precise brush. This is not a brush I would typically use on my outer corner. But we'll see. Okay. I'm just hoping to get it a little bit more precise rather than all over. Very concentrated. Oh, I like it. Okay. Yay, winning. All right. If we can do the same to the other side, we'll be in business. Okay. I'm telling you, it's just the shape of this eye that is like that, no matter what. Like, legit, how does that happen? Why am I talking so quiet? <laughs> okay. Well, of course, we're going to clean that up because I don't want that there. Okay. Better. All right. Now, let's see here. I'm of, like, three minds. Like, I should use Alien because it's green. It's really green. And then I'm like, I could use Moonrock because it's like a green gold. And then I'm like, UFO, yo. <sighs> I wish I had someone here just to help me. Tell me what I should use. Maybe what I'll do. Sorry, I still feel like that's there a little bit. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put down Abduction all over the first half of my lid. And then I'll cover it with UFO or Moonrock. We shall see. Okay, I'm going to wipe off my brush. And then I'm going to pick up Abduction, which is like the chartreuse color. Kind of reminds me of the Jawbreaker Collection green. Like a lot. And I'm just putting that on the lid, working it together with the other shades. That's actually really pretty. Uh... Pretty as is, but I like shimmery pops, so sorry, Matt. It's not gonna work out. Okay. Same thing, just putting it over here, gonna grab a little bit more. Really work those two together. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. So there is that. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. Ooh, I really kind of like that, actually. Mm, I'm like, is it worth adding anything on top of? Just because I do actually really like how that is together. Mm. Well, you guys know me. More is more, so I'll probably grab another. I do really like shimmery colors. Actually, I'm really sad, though, because I do think that this is 
pretty good. Well, you'll know if it gets worse from here that you should have just stopped here. <laughs> okay, I am going to use UFO. Why not? And it's like the gorgeous, oh, it's like a goldy green. Or maybe I'll just lightly pack it as opposed to like going ham. Why did I say that? It was a lie. Okay. I don't feel like this is a good brush for this formulation. Might be too soft. It's fine for mattes. Not as good for the metallics. It's not terrible. Like, it's not bad. But it's not as vibrant as it could be. I would say if you want uh, a more, like, a, no words, oh my goodness, like a more pigmented pickup, I would say use a synthetic brush. That's just my opinion. Or something that's not as soft as this one is. This is the Sonia G brush, and it is, I think this is goat hair. Or this might be Blue Squirrel. Hmm. I can't remember which, but the white brushes that are a little bit more wiry, if you're going to go natural hair, I think are maybe better for that kind of shadow. Um, and if you're going to go synthetic, the white ones, in my opinion. Uh, the feel is nothing the same, just so you know. <laughs> wow, this is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And maybe what I'll do is I'll take a little bit more of Phone Home. No, not Phone Home. Flying Saucer. And then deepen up the outer inside. Or outer under, I mean. Oh yeah, faux show. Okay. Randomly the song Holy Diver just came to mind. I don't know why. Wish I could sing you. <laughs> okay. Oh, I really like that. Yay, funsies. <laughs> okay. So I am going to put my eyeliner on. I'm going to put my mascara on. And then I will be right back. And then I will do some swatches for you guys. Hi. I'm, I'm sure you guys have probably seen them like a hundred times, but that's okay. It's all right. We can do them again. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'm on one today. I am back. I have my eyeliner on. I have my mascara on. And I'm just going to put on some lipstick. And I'm going to use one of my favorite colors, which is Mannequin. And I do have some, like, lip gloss on. That's okay. Mannequin is one of the best neutral colors out there. And it smells like group beer. <laughs> Which I kind of dig. Okay. So that is the completed look. I could only get mascara right on one side. I felt like Gretchen Wieners and I kept trying to make fetch happen, but it just wasn't going to happen. But it was mascara. I don't know why I keep trying, like, I keep trying, and I'm just going to say it, and I can't believe I'm going to say it, but I keep trying my Better Than Sex mascara, and it is not better than sex. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> and I, I'm not a fan. And then same with, and this is another one, and this is going to surprise people, the Roller Girl, uh, Roller Girl mascara from Benefit. I've just been having a really hard time with both of them, and I used to use them, like, in conjunction. conjunction. I would use, like, the Better Than Sex, and then I'd use Roller Girl to, like, spread them out, and... This eye is okay. Okay. The other eye, very sad. You can hardly even see my lashes at all. So I've got to figure something else out. I think I'm done with these. I think I've used them as long as I could and not gotten the performance that I wanted out of them. So I'm done with them. So I am going to swatch these real quick for you. So I'm going to move over a little bit. Skis. I'm going to try and turn this so hopefully I can show you guys a little bit better these colors. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's me today. The, like, queen of okay. Sorry, my hair is, like, now in this weird, like... <sighs> Do you just ever, like, why? Why hair? Why are you doing this? It was such a decent hair day until, 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 until. Okay. That's all right. We're going to move forward. So the first color is Pluto. 
And this is probably one of my all-time favorite Jeffree Star colors, actually. It kind of reminds me of Calinum, or Callum. I'm not sure what it is. I can't remember now in the, uh, I think it's Calinum. Callum. I can't remember. In the Blue Blood palette. So I'm just going to put that there. Just a beautiful eye highlight color. And in fact, I'll make it a longer swatch, so hopefully you guys can see it better. Just beautiful. Very iridescent and perfect kind of ethereal color. Okay. The next color is Titan. And it is just a very light kind of transition color. This is probably going to be extremely similar to my skin color. <laughs> yeah. I'm really light. <laughs> Like, I don't even think you can see it on my skin. There, I tried to like build it up, but it is literally almost the same color as my skin. So I'm sorry, it's really hard to see. The next color is Alien. And it is a very, like, it's a light green metallic. Ooh, let me pick that up a little bit better. Like, I'm hardly touching these. really pretty. The next color is probably one of my absolute favorite colors that are in a palette at all. It reminds me a bit, and I don't think it is the same, I think it's a little bit more like tan-ish. I don't know, it's got some different undertones to it, but it reminds me of that color Hearthstone White from Rust, or from Rust, <laughs> from Melt, and a little bit of that Kat Von D shade, but better. More gold undertoned. So pretty and I just feel like I'm not picking it up well like in the camera but it is glorious hopefully you can see it when I'm moving my arm a little bit I'm trying to darken this I'm like not picking up a lot because it's my favorite color and I'm like I don't even want to touch it <laughs> okay but hopefully you can see it a little bit better now when I move my arm all right the next color is abduction and it is that chartreuse, chartreuse green color kind of like the jawbreaker theme kind of color i barely picked this up i guess i could Ooh. yeah that's like boom pow kind of color the next color is ufo and that's what i have on my lid right now partially I have abduction and UFO mixed together on my lid. And this is like a very gold with a hint of green. So pretty. So pretty. The next color is gravity. Gravity, which I love. Get up out of my face. I should have hairsprayed it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. And it is a very light terracotta. I'm now going, I hope I can get these all in my arm. I don't think I can. Beautiful color. And that's in my crease area. The next color I didn't use and I wanted to so hard because it is one of my favorite, all-time favorite colors. It is Martian Soil. It is the most fantastic deep goldenrod shade. Oh, you are so pretty. Just stunning. Okay, the next color is Flying Saucer. I have that in my outer V. I think I might have overdone this middle finger yet again, but we're just going to try the best that we can. Decay! Hang on. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Uh, phone home is literally right above that color.
just a gorgeous kind of mauve -y color actually and it plays super nice with the uh, flying saucer color which I was shocked I did not think that they would but they did <laughs> the next color is also one of my favorites it is moon rock and it is like a black based green gold which I have picked up poorly. <laughs> this finger is just like kind of over swatched. <sighs> Guys, I'm not doing this one justice. I'm sorry. It's just my finger. I don't know why, but it kind of gets like overdone. <sighs> um, the next color is X-Files and I will try and pick it up with a different finger, but it will change the size of the swatch. So I'm sorry. X-Files is like a gray-brown color. Don't mind me. I'm just knocking stuff over. All's well. Then we've got Ghost OG, which to me is like a green tone gray. Oh, I picked it a lot. There's that. Like, I've got five shades left. I don't think I can fit them in that space. So I'll probably loop backwards because that's what I do when I don't properly get space. The next color is Area 51, which is the most purple purple I think I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, there's that. The next color is Space Cowboy, and it's weird. I don't. I think this is the one that doesn't look on the eye like it does in the pan. And actually, I'm gonna fix up Ghost OG a little bit because kind of covered it up with Area 51. I put these swatches really close together. Sorry, guys. Okay, Space Cowboy looks like it'd be like a I don't know reddy brown color with a black base, but I just feel like the black kind of overruns it. Especially when on the eye, it doesn't just, it just doesn't come out quite like it looks swatched even. Okay, the next color, color is Probe, and it is like a black that has tealy reflex in it. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Reminds me a bit of a shade in the Morphe 18. Well, I guess the 18B would remind me of this shade a little bit. Because this was out long before that. Facts. Okay. <sighs> that one's really pretty. Okay, the next one is Tall Gray. Which... Uh, I think I'm going to put Tall Gray up here and then I'm going to put Black Hole down here. I know, so weird. Who does that? But hi, I do. So tall gray is kind of like a blue tone gray, in my opinion. Beautiful color. And then black hole is black. And that is the entire palette. <laughs> My fingers are stained. They're just stained. But let me get up here so hopefully you guys can see this a little better. I know some of the shades you can't because they are very true to my skin tone. But I promise you they all work really, really well. So, try and back it up a little bit too. Yeah, I'm terrible at that. Alright, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Just please leave it a thumbs up and put a comment down below. Subscribe and ring the bell for future updates. And guess what? We're finally out of the green palettes. I will be uploading a video on Wednesday. It is going to be super exciting to me because I really, really love the brand. It's going to be all of the swatches of my Sydney Grace single eyeshadows that I have. 
I will not be doing the palettes that I have because I want to do separate videos on those. So you won't see those there. I'm really sorry. But all the single ones will be there and there are a ton of them and I can't wait to show you guys them. And also that same day they will be releasing the lip creams that they're coming out with. So that's super exciting. If you guys can, check it out and thank you so much for watching.